What is going on YouTube world? We are KRT Life, KRT Life with a Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that. And the year is 2021 and the debate still rages on about common projects. Are they the best sneaker that you can get? Well, I think so, yeah. Well, we're gonna tell you why. All right, so white sneakers. There was a time when I was a kid when it was a uh, it was taboo to wear white sneakers after a certain time of year. But now in the Instagram and social media era, you can now wear white sneakers 365 and nobody will, I guess, publicly shame you. All right, let me give you my five cents on that, okay? <laughs> so I am a foreigner. If you guys follow us, you might already know. Who doesn't know? I'm originally from Ukraine. I just celebrated 16 years in the United States. And some of these things are really just, I just can't comprehend them when people are like, well, you can't wear white after a certain time. I'm like, huh? Like, what's gonna happen? I don't, I don't get it. So I don't know this whole piece of like, you people weren't allowed to wear white sneaker whenever. Yeah. I don't know. So that. Uh, I wear whatever I wanna wear, whenever I wanna wear it. I don't know what the details are, but I'm sure y'all gonna tell us in the details. Yes, but if you know, please do so. Yes. <laughs> Since you can wear white sneakers all year long, what is the best white sneaker? And just to cut to the chase, after all of our scientific research, and you can go see all of our old videos about, you know, white sneakers, sneakers. the common project still to us in 2021 the is the best white sneaker money can buy, period, point blank. And we're gonna tell you a couple of reasons why we think so. Sure, and of course, just be mindful. This is our personal opinion. opinion. For me, it's because it's low cut, it's minimalistic, has no extra details. I love the way the shape is. It is pretty good quality. I can wear it with workout outfit, I can wear it with a suit, I can wear it with a dress, skirt, whatever that might be because as a woman, it is extremely difficult to find a classic looking sneaker that I can wear with the dress and look like, okay, that goes together. I've tried some other things, I've tried to save money, I've tried to do research for years and years and years, probably at least five, six years at that point. My lovely husband actually ended up giving me that as a gift, which was a big surprise because I didn't expect it. That was a cool surprise. But yes, I absolutely love them. I've had them since last Christmas, so we are in August now. This is my go-to sneaker for anything and everything. I wear them for work, I wear them for fun, I wear them for the business trip. They go with anything and everything. So what did you try before, I guess, with these common projects? The cheap version, obviously, but I had the Stan Smiths. And there's a few things I don't like. We had my Stan Smiths, but apparently we're supposed to keep them to, you Do know, talk review? about it, but somehow they got donated. I don't know how, so but So we anyway. got a stand in, uh, Stan Smith stand in that we're gonna yeah, use, so and she can explain to you what she didn't like about the Stan Smith. Few things I didn't like. They do look plasticky. They do crease really bad, and I don't like the way they look once they crease. I didn't like the tongue because it's sticking out too high, so it makes it look more like sneaker-like versus a classy shoe. And I really didn't like the back because the back is also coming up really high. So if you look at these two shoes, like this is the difference in tongue, and this is how the Stan Smith's sticking out. And this is like the whole back where this goes really high, mm -hmm. which doesn't make it look low cut or low profile shoe. I've considered getting um, Vans, like some kind of van sneaker, but at that point they didn't have a leather one and I did want to have a leather sneaker because I wanted to make it, you know, classy with, so I can wear it with a dress or a skirt to work. So I just kind of stopped and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and suck it up, spend the money and stick with my CPs because I also love white sneakers. I also like to keep them white. So I scrub them like I, you know, like I clean them regularly. I wash the um, shoelaces to make sure they're white. I just love the clean white sneaker. A lot of things, when I watch these people talk about these shoes, the one thing that they seem to, I guess, dance around is design. design. And when you look at the design of a uh, pair of uh, Achilles low, 
it is literally probably the most beautiful sneaker ever designed. And when you hold it up to anything else, nothing else holds a straw to it because a lot of them will have like this extra stitching right here that looks crazy. Or right here. Or across the top. The tongue will be all kind of weird or they'll have some like brown lining on the inside. Or the way they do the toe box, it would be the slightly different be size. And then it also would crease in the completely wrong spot, which makes it just look ugly after wearing it for a couple of times. Yes. Now, speaking of wearing it a couple of times, my actual pair of CPs, I bought these used on eBay for $150, I, I believe, so. somewhere around there. And I have been wearing them for about three or four years mm -hmm. now. And I wear these a lot. I travel in them and they are amazing. Another reviewer's review that we saw and watched, he was saying that this chrome tan leather that the uh, Common Projects are made out of is good for like a work boot or something like that, or a boot that needs to be really rugged mm -hmm. and durable, but it's not necessarily what you would want to put in a sneaker. And to me, well, well, the way he said it at the end, it's like it was a, it was a cheaper cheap version to cheaper create way. a yeah, cheaper yeah. way to create a sneaker, which I didn't understand. That kind of confused me. Right. So if, even if chrome tan leather is cheaper, but it's more durable, more water resistant, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And this is a pair of sneakers that you're going to wear almost every single day. Don't you want it to be durable and water resistant? And in my mind, yes, because at this price point, mm -hmm. I feel like... If you're gonna pay four hundred dollars for these, you should wear them as much as you possibly can for they as long not, as you can. For as long as you can, so they should be durable and they should be water yeah. resistant. And that's why, in my opinion, you can dance around. You, I know this is in a pair of Stan Smiths, but you can dance around and get some Stan Smiths for like you know sixty dollars. Yeah. But they're gonna look bad. They're gonna fall apart really quick, and you can't wear Stan Smiths with you know Suit. suits or tuxedos mm -hmm. or. You can go and get some Vans. Now these, I'll, I'll be 100% honest with y'all. These Vans, uh, I think these are called the Classics mm -hmm. um, in white. They're great. I love these. It's a good summer shoe, but the durability factor is not there. This is actually the second pair that I've had this summer. <laughs> Just the look, yeah. the design of the CPs, I feel like it's perfect for any kind of use. Whatever you wanted to pair it with, it would go with it. Yes. So are there other alternatives to common projects in 2021? Of course. Yes. But I feel like none of them are as good as a pair of CPs. And I think you're better off saving up, spending that $425 and getting yourself a new pair of common projects than going to get anything else. And that's just some real honest, straight up consumer advice coming from Kelsey. And I got to say, if you spend that $425 and you didn't like them, just be gentle with them till you test them out. You can always sell them. Trust me, they will sell used CPs like this. Yep. So that's our white sneaker advice for 2021. We are KRT Life, KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, and all that. We didn't talk about Air Force Ones. We didn't talk about... Well, we talk about more classic white blah, 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 standard yeah. sneaker. Air Force One, not quite something you would wear with a But I know in the comments, people are going to be like, oh, you can get some Air Force Ones. And yeah, yeah, we kind of stay within just, just, you know, like in the little bubble right now. Exactly. See y'all in the next vlog. Peace. People are gonna like shred us anyway, regardless.